All right, everyone. Hello and welcome. We're starting up our new... Well, I wouldn't call it a playthrough, since there's not, like, a story or anything to Zomboid. You're just surviving. Our new survival, I suppose we could call it. So, I was thinking we would go to Louisville again, but we've kind of been around and done all that. I'm sure there's other places we haven't explored in it, but... I think a new place is in order. So, we had previously gone to... Uh, Maldru, and made our life there, Louisville, but uh, since we're thinking about being like a thief or something like that, I think why not go to Riverside, where as the thing says here, uh, out east there are wealthier residents that work and play, there's also a country club, uh, so it seems like it'd be a place of, you know, rich people to steal from and all that good jazz, so that's what we're going to do. Um, as for this, let's see, I think we'll leave this alone for right now, because we're going to change that later on anyway. But day length, an hour, start month, let's go with May, start day, we'll go one, start hour, let's go, not 5pm, sorry, uh, I guess 7am. World, let's see, water shut off. We're gonna leave this stuff kind of as is for the most part. Let's see, locked houses frequency is gonna be high because you know that's how that goes. Let's see, what and rude rotten food is never removed. Let's set this to one so uh, stuff does uh, rotten food does disappear because otherwise it's just annoying. Loot respawn will have be uh, none. Um, we do not want loot to respawn ever for this playthrough, because we're just trying to do stuff. Uh, loot scene prevent hours. When greater than zero, loot will not respawn inside zones. Well, that doesn't matter, because it's not going to respawn. Uh, hours for removal. Number of hours since an item was dropped for it to be removed. 24 seems fine. Months since apocalypse, going to be zero. Darkness during night. We're going to go bright, because otherwise it's sort of impossible to see. We'll do normal for that. And lights, uh, we're just going to set them to... Well, I guess it doesn't matter, since we'll just set it to one, since we're not going to have a generator in one stuff. Um, temperature, rain, erosion speed, farming speed. I don't think any of this stuff really matters too much. Sadistic AI, sure. Right, meta, generator spawn sometimes, doesn't matter. Randomized house chance. Randomized safe houses on the map, either burnt out, containing loot stashes, or dead survivor bodies, sure. Randomized vehicle chances, annotated map chance sometimes, time for corpse removal, that's fine. Decaying corpse impact on health, sure. Blood level. Sure, corpse maggot spawn, sure, loot rarity. Yeah, we'll just have all that be rare, that's fine. XP multiplier, since we're doing a kind of thing here, let's go ahead and do a five times multiplier. Uh, determines that the XP multiplier affects passive scat, such as fitness, and sure, why not? Uh, stat decrease. Normal, endurance regeneration, normal, nutrition, yep. Starter kit. I mean, we are like gonna be a, a vagrant, so we should have something to start with, right? We're not just gonna be like a normal guy who was like in there, right? So we're gonna do that. Uh, bone fracture, fine, injury severe, player health, uh, multi hit weapon enabled, all clothing unlocked, whatever. Uh, disabled to walk unimpeded while melee attacking. No. Enable poisoning. Yep. In-game map. Allow mini-map. Nope, nope, nope. Vehicles. Vehicles. Easy use. Governs whether cars are locked or needs car to start, etc. Oh, that's going to be off. Um, recent survivor vehicles. Low. Let's see. Chance has gas. Should be normal. Initial gas should be normal. Our spawn rate. We're going to leave it at that. Gas consumption. That's fine. Locked frequency. Sometimes rather than rare. Because uh, I feel like in a ritzier neighborhood, people should be locking their cars. General condition should be 
like normal, I feel. Uh, car wreck congestion, sure. Car alarm frequency, extremely rare. Player damage and crash, yep. Car damage on impact, high. Siren shutoff hours, how many in game? Wailing siren shutoff. Uh, damage to player hit by car, none. I mean, no one's gonna be using a car to hit me. Now then, <clears throat> we're gonna be changing this stuff. So, if we get uh, bitten, we die instantly. Okay? Um, let's see. We're gonna leave all that stuff there. Zombies are not going to lunge. We're going to say zombies can do environmental attacks, which is attacking doors and constructions while roaming around. That's fine. They're going to be active during day and night. Um, active zombies will use the speed setting. Inactive zombies will be slower and tend not to give chase. Okay. Interesting. We're going to leave all those at normal. That's going to be fine. Advanced zombie option. So here's where the thing really starts going. So, what's the maximum here? Four? 4.0. Population start is going to be 0 0.5. Peak population modifier is 4.0. Peak population day is going to be day 28. Respawn hours, I'll set it to zero. You don't want them to respawn. Uh, respawn on scene hours, that doesn't matter because they're not going to respawn. Respawn multiplier doesn't matter because they're not going to respawn. Redistribution hours, the number of hours that must pass before zombies migrate to empty parts of the same cell. Sure, whatever. Follow sound distance, sure. Rally group size, 1000. Rally travel distance, 50. Group separation, we'll leave that there. Group rally radius. How close members of a group stay to the group's leader? I'm sure we'll leave that there. All right. Become desensitized. Number of zombies we need to kill. We'll lower that a little bit since we're a criminal, you know? And then we'll go ahead and lower this to just a thousand. Uh, consider traits, consider occupation. Common sense. Determines whether all doors can be pried open. Nah. Skill recovery journal. We're not going to use that, so that doesn't matter. Um, initial perk bonus. What is this stuff? Fitness and workout stuff, right? Keep bags equipped when we're working out, ideally. Um, okay. We'll keep bags equipped. Keep inventory and respawn. Well... It doesn't matter, because we're not going to be respawning. And then we have all of this stuff here. Alright, cool. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this as... So many zombies. Oh my god. Okay. We'll go to next, and we'll pick out our characters. So, we're going to be a thief, so we're going to try to do burglar. Let's see if there's anything else that would be also good here. Just a burglar. Okay, so burglar gives me like a hot wire vehicles, a less chance of breaking the lock of a window. What does that mean? Hmm. Uh, we're light footed already, we're nimble, and we can sneak better, which is gonna be very helpful for us. So uh, that's cool. However, it also means we do not have as many uh, stat points to use here because we have burglar already. Which means we're going to have to get some bad stuff here. So, we're going to be cowardly, because we don't want confrontation, obviously. Uh, we're going to be a slow reader, because we're not going to use it. Uh, weak stomach, because we're not going to eat stuff too badly here. Uh, prone to illness, since we're going to zombify immediately, that's just an easy free thing here. Um, let's scroll down here. 
Let's see. Don't want the, that one. Decrease XP gains. We could get that. Because we have the five times multiplier and kind of balance things out a little bit. Um, but let's go with slow healer first of all. Um, let's see. We'll get smoker because that's just a freebie. Um, decrease container inventory capacity. Does that count for backpacks too or just other things? All right, anyway, let's look at what we'll want to get after that. So we're probably going to want, I would say, strong and athletic, but maybe we'll go with uh, stout instead to save on some points. Because, you know, we're, we're not, you know, completely jacked as a uh, burglar, right? We're just a guy who happens to be, you know, fairly strong for that. Um, let me Google that real quick, actually. Zomboid organized does it effect backpacks. If the player has the organized trait, the large backpack can have a capacity of 35. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it works on backpacks. So we should probably get organized. Uh, that seems like it, it would be a, a good thing for us to have. Now we only have three left, so... What are we thinking? I mean, we can get Restless Sleeper. I don't think that would affect stuff too much. Screw it, let's get Slow Learner. I think that'll be fine. If we get stressed when bloody, we can just smoke to uh, relieve that, right? Hmm, let's not worry about that. Where is Lucky? Here's Lucky. I think we should be Lucky as a uh, criminal because that would uh, help us out with uh, stuff like that. Yeah. So, what else we got? Do we have any like odd number ones? Just Speed Demon. Fortunate. Let's get Cat Eyes and Dexterous. Mm, what else would be nice? Get Inconspicuous, because, you know, since we are a uh, burglar, we tend to try to be inconspicuous. Then... Thick skin would be very nice to have. Unfortunately, we do not have the, uh, the stats for that. Is there really no stats that, like, are three? I mean, I could take Sunday Driver, but I want our guy to be able to drive faster, right? Any other odd-numbered uh, ones we can take here? I guess just these fives, huh? Fear of blood or asthmatic. Hmm. We're probably going to be running a lot. So, screw it. Fear of blood. We're going to try and... Uh, Avoid blood as much as possible. And so, let's see. We actually do have eight now, so we could get thick-skinned to uh, prevent ourselves from getting bitten. But our goal is to be to not get bitten um, as much as possible, right? We shouldn't even be putting ourselves in the position to get bit, right? What else do we have? So if I get graceful, which is to make less noise when moving, which would sort of make sense. I've, I've tried to pick things that make sense for a burglar. Slow reader, because he's not that educated. Um, cowardly, because he doesn't want to get caught. Smoker, and, you know, prone to illness, because he's, you know, a vagrant and, and all this kind of stuff, because, you know, he doesn't have the best lifestyle, right? So what else? If I got Graceful, I have four points left to spend. I mean, I could get a couple others, like Wakeful and those. I could get those two right now. Or I could get 
angler, baseball player, first aid, gardener, um, eat less regularly. I can see nutritional value of feud. I could get runner, or I can get sower. Mm. I think out of all of it, wakefulness would be the best choice here. Which would give me two points left so I could get outdoorsman to not be affected by that stuff. And I think that's good. So we're going to save this as our burglar boy thing here. We'll go to next. And let's just randomize a little bit. And we got Lifton Ma is our guy's name here. So let's change that to... Hmm, how about Johnny no last name he just goes by Donny because you know he's a kind of a drifter no one uh, you know really knows who he is let's do with uh, like that yeah right parting he tries to look a little dapper, you know. He's got a, uh, let's see. You know, he's got a goatee, that'll be fine. Let's see. What would a burglar wear? Probably a beanie hat, right? A black beanie hat. Sunglasses to obscure his face. We'll have a black tank top. I guess no shirt, since that would look just kind of weird. Um, or a t-shirt. You'd probably want the long-sleeved one to uh, avoid him leaving DNA anywhere. Again, in black. You want black pants so that he can uh, you know, hide more. You want long socks, once again, to you know, cover as much of his body as he can. You want sneakers, also black, just to blend in with things. You'll have a bandana on, also black. Ah, uh, no block lava. Oh man, that took everything away. How dare they? sunglasses on too there we go all right so here's our guy of course once we actually find gear we will uh have to change what he looks like of course but we're gonna name him dino last name say all right so welcome Donnie no last name Let's see how many days you can survive. So, for this particular uh, survival, we're basically just going to be going one life. We're not going to respawn and then you know, use our knowledge of our previous character to, to do things. I'm going to try to just survive as him for as long as possible. We're not going to be um, setting up a base. We're just going to be trying to carry everything we need with us and going from place to place to find food, water, and survive, right? Maybe creating a, a safe little area that we can patrol in and whatnot. So it looks like we are in a bar, which, you know, kind of makes sense for, for us here. We have our baseball bat, which we're going to go ahead, excuse me, and equip in both hands here. And then we'll attach our hammer to our belt. We had a screwdriver, that would be ideal. I'm also going to move the uh, baseball bat down to here. And we can easily just put it on and off the back here. Alright. First thing we need to do is get some uh, stuff for water and all that goodness. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so let's find what we can here. 
break this ATM? No. All right. So Donnie, he was uh, at this bar looking for a potential a potential mark, right, to to rob today or tomorrow or whatnot. So he was looking at all the people, all the big spenders, trying to see who could be a a good potential person for him to grab, right? You know, who could he follow to their home and, and you know, take stuff? Like, who was the guy who was buying rounds at the bar, or the person who was bragging about getting a raise at their work, you know, that kind of stuff. And then, they heard it. A zombie outbreak had occurred. And he knew shit was going down. Of course, the bar panicked and everyone departed, but Donnie Donnie was collected. After everyone left, he, of course, got to work. He knew that he could take things now and use them to his advantage later. He quickly found some cigarettes, some chips, peanuts, just some things that he could use to survive for as long as he could. He was a drifter and so didn't have a place to really call his own. As such... He didn't have a place to go back to. And all he could do was attempt to find a place that he could use to survive. Always moving to one place and doing what he could. So he grabs some things that he thought he might need from the, the bar. Things like rags to use as bandages, bourbon to disinfect any wounds he could potentially get bottles to fill with water and use to sustain himself off of, a crowbar to use to break into different things. Luckily the bar had a crowbar, don't know why, but they did. He looked outside and decided he wanted to stay in for just a moment longer, get his bearings, and check the map that he had on him to see where he should go next. He didn't know much about this area, as he had just wandered into town, hearing that there were some rich people who, well, had money for him to steal. And so he decided to come out the front door and look to see if he could secure some method of transportation. There was a car in the parking lot, so Donnie did what he did best, and checked to see if anything was unlocked. Of course not. Donnie broke the window, hopped in, checked the glove box for a key, but did not find any. He did find matches and a pencil, however. These would come in handy with him and his thing. So he unlocked the trunk and attempted to hotwire the vehicle, but remembered he, uh, he should probably stop that, actually. He decided to check to see if the vehicle was even in running order and had gas in it. It did, so he could use this vehicle as his own. For now, anyhow. He opened the trunk and took a look. Didn't have much usefulness, but that's fine. So Donnie got in the vehicle. And decided... I said Donnie got in the vehicle! And decided to hotwire it. Because it checked out and seemed good for him. He could use this to find a place to... Did it fail? I don't know how wiring works, so I don't know if you can fail or not. It failed again. Come on. So Donnie hotwired the car. Really? Also, I'm just realizing you can't actually sleep in your car. So... Okay, Donnie gave it two more tries. If it didn't do it this time, he would just walk away. Oh! Donnie managed to hotwire it. 
Ooh, baby, it was a fast car, too. He always wanted one of these babies. So, he decided to take a look at what was around him. Oh, he saw a large group of zombies and decided to go the other way because he ain't into that. After all, Donnie's a coward. He figured what he should do is to try and find a location that has fewer zombies to find some food and perhaps a better backpack. Perhaps some guns or something like that that he could use to kill them from afar. He saw a police station and decided, well, that's as good as any. So he decided to just pull right into the back. Unfortunately, the window to the car was broken, so if he ever got accosted by some zombies, he'd be in for it. He hid behind his car, hoping the zombies would just pass him by, but here they came. So he had to fight. With a baseball bat that he used to break through windows, he now used to break through zombie skulls. Did his best to keep himself alive as he beat the zombies in. He knew that he would have to find better defensive equipment, better weapons and tools to keep himself up and alive, so. After taking out the zombies, he would search them and see if their uh, equipment was any better than his. Quick circle again here. Alright, he found a leather jacket and put it on. Well, it was a little bit bloody, but... He had to do what he could. He also found a polo sweater that he put on to help himself to be a little bit more secure. Maybe bites did come up. Check the back of the police station, it seemed clear. There was a zombie knocking at the door and he tried to open it. But unfortunately, or maybe fortunately for him, he didn't budge. He decided to take his time and check out the vehicles around him. Perhaps he could find something useful in them. If they would open. He found a map. Surprisingly, to the area he was in. Riverside. Pride of the mighty Ohio. After noting down the various things he saw there, he took whatever else he could from the truck, checked his map, decided to get his bearings. He knew if he moved further into the town, he would find more zombies, but also more supplies. So he decided to do what he could. He took another bat that he found in the back of a truck. Conveniently, it was there anyway. Yes, I see the zombie. Donnie found a watch, and this would allow him to keep track of time and other various things, such as the day. Coming back into the car, he unlocked the trunk. Check the glove box one more time for anything he could use that was useful. Grabbed a pen. Checking the trunk of the car, he found it was completely empty. Not great. But that didn't stop him. He continued on to check the, the final vehicle in the police car parking lot. The police station parking lot, sorry. But everything was locked, it would seem. So he broke the window, climbed on in. Checked the glove box, found some more matches, and unlocked the trunk. Perfect. He walked over and unlocked the trunk and found, ooh, quite a decent amount of things. He grabbed the first aid kit, and that was all, because that's all he needed. He then walked back over to the police station door to see if the zombie had made any progress. It had not. But that's sort of how it goes sometimes. 
he would place the first aid box down on the ground and just take the equipment from it, as the first aid box weighed a little bit more than what he needed. He would then put some of the stuff that he had amassed into his bag to lighten his load a little bit. With the back not being an option, he decided to take a look and see if he could secure the front. There were a couple of zombies further away, but perhaps, if he was careful, he could get the one next to the door for now. He got one, but others were coming. He knew he had to make his escape, so he quickly wandered off into the parking lot where he was at. Hopefully lure them out one at a time. Johnny was cowardly, but he knew for every zombie he killed, there would be one less he would have to deal with in the future. And so he did what he could. He knew that in this new era, gold and jewelry were a thing of the past. No matter what he took, it wouldn't matter because he wouldn't have anyone to pawn it off to. He looked through the police station windows, tried to see who all was around. He had to try to open the front door, but fortunately, it too was locked. So Donnie, being a burglar, decided to just remove the broken glass around one of the windows that had shattered, and then climb on through. He then made his way towards the back of the police station. Wait, where's that door? Isn't it like... Oh, it's right here, isn't it? From behind, he accosted the zombie safely. And worked his way towards the other two zombies in the police station. Carefully attacking the one from the back and approaching the second. They went down fairly easily, but unfortunately didn't have much. He did manage to find a holster that he put on his person. And then went about his day trying to find anything that could be useful. He found a nightstick that could potentially give him some... Uh, assistance in the future and decided to check the other zombies. A map to the city of Louisville. He read it just in case his travels ever brought him over there. He did not think that they would, but better safe than sorry, as they say. He took this time of relative safety to fill his water bottle and of course to wash the blood off of his clothing but he very carefully picked which items to wash himself on. So the leather jacket. He wanted to wash the blood off because he was, uh, what, what was it? Uh, whatever. He was afraid of blood and stuff, so yeah. Everything else is blood free. We decided to uh, wash himself real quick to get rid of some of the blood on him. There we go. Water dispenser was a little low on water after that. Not really, but save okay, that for now. He searched the rest of the hospital, taking any little supplies that he thought he could potentially use in the future. Another nightstick here, an eraser as well. That could come in handy. He was getting a little hungry, but he knew that if he ate now, that he wouldn't be able to eat later, potentially. So he let himself get a little bit hungrier, since he was not too affected by the things that were going on. Using his knowledge of burglary, he tore down the door to what he believed was the police armory. Inside, he found ammo and some weapons. However, he was not too well trained in these weapons that he found, and so decided to just do what he could and take what he could. Hmm. So this is a, uh, what is this? 
What does it use? If I eject the magazine. It uses 308s. Okay. If I go ahead and unpack all of these. Go ahead and reload the magazine here. Does the magazine fill, actually? Really? They can hold three bullets, huh? Okay, hold on. We'll go ahead and rebox these. Go ahead and take the shotgun shells, because those can be useful in the future. Real shame I don't have any uh, other stuff from this. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and we'll make a note down here that there are guns here because it's the police station. Um, how about let's get our bat out? How about this room? Ooh, a key to uh, Chevalier of Dahlia. Again, I don't remember which one that is. No body armor? Damn. <gasps> he found it. He found a shotgun. Better than a rifle. He uh, went ahead and put the rifle back into the thing here, along with the ammunition that it held. If he needed it, he could come back for it, he knew. And so, he took out the shotgun instead. Brought out the shotgun shells. And took any shotgun shells he found down and around there. Let's see. They're mounted on all guns. Excellent, let's take that. I also found a pistol here. I suppose we could take that if we really wanted to. Go ahead and take it for now. The 9mm rounds here. Alright. Let me close this door real quick just so we don't get caught up in anything crazy here. Alright. So, let's open up one of the 9mm, if I can find it. Um, I'm just blind, hold on. Open up one of the 9mm here. Let's go ahead and insert bullets into it. Go ahead and uh, insert the magazine. Did it not have a magazine before? Oh my god, it did not have a magazine. Okay, well, that's that, I suppose. Go ahead and put the spare ammo back in there. Now let's go ahead and equip the shotgun real quick. Let's go ahead and put this pistol in my holster. We can use that in case we need to. Um, let's see, shotgun. Upgrade sights. There we go. And then... Insert another shell into it. And going from the seven, like almost, I guess, eight technically shells we could have in that one shotgun to this one. Oof. But we can also just put the shells into here in the backpack to uh, hold on from here. So let's see if we can find any more nine millimeter or. Oh, damn, I can't put that there, huh? Mm. Can't put it on my back either, huh? Oh, I could attach it to my back. The baseball bats there. Well, for now, um, anxiety's not too bad. Nothing else is too bad here. Any more nine millimeter in here? There's some. I'm gonna put that in our main inventory though. Oh, we have shell straps too. We. Att no. If I put this here, can I attach it now? I guess it already has the shell holder on it, so never mind. I oh, do have another M9 magazine, right? Yeah, perfect. Give me that and that. And let's go ahead and put the bullets that we have into this one. Trying to gain the level and reloading. Although I guess level wouldn't really matter because that's a game term. And Donnie's a real person, right? 
decided to check out the rest of the uh, police station for anything that he could use, potentially. Talking about a jail cell and an interrogation room. It was a small station, but nevertheless, it was a station. So, getting a little peckish, he decided to break open one of the bags of chips that he had. He wasn't going to eat much, but just enough to sate his hunger, at least for now. He would eat more if he could find more, but that was all he could do at this particular moment in time. Finally decided to check the last zombie corpse that he had. He grabbed a key. Have I put this vest on? Does it overwrite anything else? No? Okay. He found some military boots on them, along with some leather gloves, which would help protect his hands. He also found a pair of jeans, which would give him a little bit more protection as well. He removed the pants that he had worn for his life there, and the shoes as well. And since the gloves were a little bit bloody, and so was the other things he picked up, he decided to come over to the watering thing one more time to wash his high visibility vest. And also to wash his leather gloves. There we go. Now he's no longer covered in blood. So, he then went ahead and filled up his water bottle one more time. And took a drink. Since he didn't know when the next time he would find fresh water would be. If the world really was going to hell, it was only a matter of time before the utilities shut off. He knew this, so he left the police station, closing the door behind him to try and lessen the amount of zombies that could potentially come back in. If he needed to, he could come back here for the ammunition that was left. He decided to take the items that were inside of the trunk of the car that he had previously liberated and replace them with his own. put what little he had in there. Nice if I could find a fanny pack. Not in character, but just for my, my personally, if I could find a, a fanny pack, it would be nice to have. drop his pencil. Suture things we'll put into here. Alright. We have a little bit of food, some cigarettes, which we'll go ahead and smoke one right now as a celebration of us uh, getting out of here. Alright. Ah, cool. This was the uh, other one that had a key in it. Gotcha. Looks like we're hungry enough. Let's go ahead and eat these peanuts. We'll just eat them all. All right. So we have a shotgun and stuff like that. So that's perfect. We could start using the shotgun and uh, just kind of go into town on some zombies here. Put the shotguns back in the backpack. Okay. How much does this water weigh? Quite a lot. I'm gonna put one of the water bottles in there. Okay. Actually, hold on. Can I potentially... Can I remove a window? I need basic mechanics knowledge. How do I get that? I need a recipe for it. Okay. That's just one zombie, and I really don't want to make a shotgun blast go off with one zombie. While I'm looking around. Okay. But I really want to get a, a, a another window on that door there. I don't want to, uh, <clears throat> you know, break problems. 
where there are none, right? Okay, so we're gonna get in the car again. If I could get into it. know how long the gas the power is gonna stay on for so if I could get any gas cans that are uh, in the vehicles uh, and we can find a gas station we can fill up gas uh, and just have some extra lying around because like I said we're not gonna be using generators and stuff so there's a lot of zombies already. Oh my god, there's so many zombies already. Okay. How about this? Turn the car off. We'll train some, uh... Some aiming now. And if shit gets bad, we can just get in the car and run away. We can just kind of lure them into this nice, huge open field. I'm gonna always try to keep one round in the chamber here, so we're gonna fire four at a time rather than five. Oops. I didn't hold R there. I don't know why that popped up, but we'll level aim pretty quick, so I guess all the stats can really like level up quickly here. That's what five times does for you, I guess. Oops, I had the last one by accident. Well, whatever. We do have like a hundred rounds, so let's spin off the herd as best we can. Like, let me just keep walking and we'll be just fine. Hopefully. There aren't many zombies in this part of town right now, so, I mean, uh, there aren't many buildings in this part of town, so if we kill as many zombies as we can here, right now, most of them should stay at the, uh, the eastern side of town, right? At least that's my thought. <clears throat> Our man Donnie was a coward. But, with a shotgun in his hands, he knew he could take down some zombies from afar while remaining safe himself. So that's what he did. He shot, shot, and shot again. Getting a little too close for comfort a couple of times here, but... He knew the zombies shambling around couldn't catch him as he walked away. So he just did what he did best, and ran. as he walked and ran to avoid the zombies. He, of course, inevitably drew more zombies as they were uh, very interested in the sounds he was making. And in a matter of hours since his day began, Donnie had killed a total of 50 zombies, but he wasn't done yet. Oh no. He would kill more. He still had uh, around 100 rounds of ammunition. Also, he found a gas station, so he knew that he wanted to uh, fill up his car as best he could. Or go into other parts of the city. Train of zombies. That automatic fire I just heard. Hey, I, I told you to reload. Why'd you just stop? 
Donnie sometimes does not listen. Kind of rude of him, to be honest. I'm here to help him. And yet Donnie's like, no, nah, I don't want to reload right now. From that guy, please. Almost had me. All right. Seventy-five kills began to crept up. We're getting really good. It's nice. Let's. Run a little bit further and turn because I need to look at one zombie who's kind of straggling down there. Come on, zombies. Let's keep playing. I don't know why sometimes it feels like uh, the game thinks I'm holding down R instead of just pressing it once. Kind of a waste killing out one zombie when I could have just moved out of the way. Yeah, that zombie's naked. Well, not naked, he's got boxers on but still. But we have around 70 shells left. Let's get behind this guy. We made it a good distance away, huh? From our car, I mean. How's our aiming doing? Still leveling up, a little bit surely. Honestly, I did not expect to find a shotgun this quickly. Like, way more on zombies with, but. We just keep looping around the gas station. We should have uh, plenty of experience and time. Well, that's a car wash. That's what that is. I'm not going to try risking going through it, not knowing if there's like a block in there or anything. We're just going to keep walking. Keep killing. Next bullets. We're down to 47 left in reserve anyway. I really miss our old shotgun from our previous guy. That one was really nice. fire off and kill just so many zombies. Didn't have to pump, it was just like boom, 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 boom. Zombies just fell like zombies, I guess. We're gonna hit the next level of aiming here pretty soon. How's Nimble doing too? Nimble's doing really well as well. starting to get not so many zombies following directly behind us. They're starting to cut across and whatnot, so let's run for a moment here. Okay. Not hold R, but press R. And then while we have a second, let's go ahead and eat another fourth bag of his chips, since we are getting a little hungry here. Let's calmly walk down the road as we eat. Check the corners, looks good, turn, and let's wait, wait, fire. And now we reload again. A couple of zombies down here still, just hanging out. Hi, folks. I'm not going to kill you yet. 
because you're not close enough for the zombies. There you go. I would like to also secure this gas station so we could uh, get some food. shots. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to do it that time. And reloading went up once more, too. Oh, yeah. Get up past this tree line here. I don't want to get caught unaware. Okay, let's keep it going. Wait, are we out? We're out of shells. Okay. Last one. Got him. All right, let's go. Need to eat more chips, so let's do that. I don't want to waste our, our pistol ammo on the zombies right now. The pistol's kind of a last resort, oh crap, we're probably going to die kind of thing. How many do we have left? Quite a haul. We're not dealing with that. Could lure them into the store to like a window and have them jump over that and whatnot, but I'm not gonna do that. Killed quite a few of them at least. Far. Another one. The problem is I don't really have time to loot their bodies or, or anything. They're very good way. Okay. That's just one zombie there? Yeah, it's just one zombie. Why don't I just take him out? Stragglers? Oh, there's three here now. Got him. Thought I saw another one up north. Got a mistake? Did I not? Let's take this axe in case I need it. Car should be just down here, which it is. Perfect. Right, let's go ahead and eat the rest of these chips. All right. So far, so good. Well, let's check these zombies quick. Might as well, since they're here. Lumberjack shirt. Nice. All right. That was pretty much all that we uh, were able to do there. Let's go ahead and store the shotgun and the axe in the trunk. Nice. Okay. Let's take a look at the map real quick. That's the gas station right here. Let's put a... Uh, marker there. Alright. See what we can find next. We got a little strip mall there.
There's so many zombies, oh my god. This is just day one. We're on 0 0.5 zombie population right now. It goes up to four. Thank God this car is fast and maneuverable. Imagine if we took Sunday Driver, y'all. Imagine. I'm really not sure where the hell I'm going. I know what I'm doing though. Taking a smoke. Hey, 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 hey. We're in the ritzy neighborhood right now. We use these fences to uh, hop back and forth to kill zombies if necessary. So we could find a relative safe spot in order to just like chill for a moment. Let's just leave that town. Probably won't be any better, to be honest. Yeah, just more zombies on the road. As is tradition. What about this path? Let's go out to like a, a random home or something. If we go off the beaten trail, we might find something interesting, right? Oh. Interesting. There's like a house up ahead. Eat a fourth bag of chips again here. Okay, maybe we could make this our uh, base for the night. Alright, let's creep on in. I don't see any zombies around currently. You can do it, Donnie. Open that door. Or window. Never mind. How about this one? There we go, Donnie, my man. I'll go ahead and close this window. Now they can easily get in after me now. storage stuff. Ooh, we have another crowbar. Stuff like that. Um, let's kind of open this up. We can make a note that there's tools here. Perfect. Uh, sorry, lady. What'd you have on you? Major? Oh, but the house isn't clear yet. Ooh. Fresh uncooked. Let's go ahead and put that in the... Uh, the stove for right now. Let's secure the rest of the house. Nothing else in here. All right. Any uh, medical supplies in here that we're looking at? Some glue. Take that to repair weapons and stuff. Or make new things if I needed to. Plenty of stuff in the 
desk here too, cereal and all that. Hold on, before we go upstairs, I think there was still this door here. How many bathrooms at floor level do you guys need? This house has three bathrooms so far. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh, finish looting this house real quick. Padded pants. Hmm. Magazine. It seems that this house is relatively safe, all things considered. Surprised there was only just one person here. Ooh, cologne, we can use that as a disinfectant. Sheet, soap, an actual bottle of disinfectant, that's cool. I think I'll take some soap. Go ahead and fill our water bottle that's missing some stuff out here. Let's head downstairs and finish our looting down there. We could find some more medical supplies. Weezers will definitely come in handy in case we get uh, injured or something with glass. We did something stupid, probably. <laughs> Let me take this pot. So it's just a pot with like nothing else in it, yeah? So what if I... Can I... Oh, I guess I can't put anything in soup? Hmm. That's unfortunate. I guess I need a little bit of cooking or something first. Well, let's go ahead and turn it on and we'll cook it at least. There we go. Yeah, I'll make sure I turn the stove off so it doesn't start a fire. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and uh, we'll drink. Yes, a fourth of it. Should level us up there. You know, let's just drink another fourth. Let's get it nice and good there. All right, so we have some other stuff here that's gonna be perishable. A couple of saucepans, moving cube, and then we have right here our canned goods. We'll go ahead and grab now. Fortunately, that's all the uh, the canned stuff we're gonna see here. We do have some extra stuff over here. I'm gonna grab this fresh stuff and we can put it in the fridge. That can be uh, used for a little bit later. This chicken, I think we should just put in the freezer. Instead of eating chips, we can eat this, uh, this pot of soup for a little while. In this other bathroom. Did we search this one already? I forgot. I think we might have. Yeah, nothing, nothing in it. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have survived our first day as Donnie the Burglar. And uh, we're going to go ahead and sleep in this house. And then continue making our way through the town to check on stuff. So next time... Join me as we, uh, well, actually, let's look at the map and see what we have exactly here, huh? All right, so we made it out of town. We don't even need to go back, but there is a hospital here for medical supplies. I guess a couple pharmacies here, maybe. Maybe just clinics, I don't know. We have more restaurants. There's more retail stuff here. I didn't really see anything useful as we passed by that or that one. Um, and then we, I think, came down around through here, right? But there's that, which may be a school. Maybe that's the country club. I think that's a church. I didn't know we passed by a church at some point. Actually, I think we went all the way through here. And turned down here. And then down here, down here, down here, up there. Like that, right? Hmm. 
I don't think any of these stores, at least the ones we could see along here, had anything decent for us. That was an explosion. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll check some stuff out tomorrow. Hopefully we can come up here with our car, not have too many zombies around, and be able to loot whatever's here. Uh, we'll kind of plan on that, so... Yeah. Until next time, everyone. This is Donnie the Burglar, smoking a cig before we start out again. Until next time, bye-bye.